Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prongs. As always, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment if you want to, and subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, help us grow this channel. Up here at the top, you're going to find links to any of the giveaways going on here at the channel. And during the video, there might be a link to other videos related to this particular video. As always, don't forget to look in the comments below. First comment pinned to the top for links to any of the products shown in this video. Or look in the description and you can find links there as well. Okay guys, so here we are post flights with the Iashin Tyro 89. <clears throat> so I can tell you this, uh, so far, by far, uh, the 89 is my favorite of the Tyro series. Uh, I like the 7 inch as well. If you're into uh, long range stuff, the 7 inch is good. I didn't get a lot of battery life that I hope to get out of that one. But uh, as far as the other ones go, um, 69, 79, uh, this 89 I really, really enjoy. Um, it flies excellent. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm kind of split screening at the moment. Uh, my, I, I have the TBS Fusion um, receiver or, or uh, module for my Fat Sharks, and it is phenomenal when you're flying. But it, it basically turned uh, my DVR footage from my Fat Sharks into utter crap. Uh, it definitely was better on the True D for for recording, and of course we're not carrying anything HD on this, so. Um, we just got to go with what we got, and I apologize for how that looks. However, uh, camera, typical EOS V2, it's beautiful, um, flies really, really good, it's really, really fast. Um, I'm not, uh, if you're new to this, my, my other guys already know, I'm not really much interested in racing, and I'm, you know, sort of freestyle. Um, I just uh, I, I just like you know building the models and flying them around, throwing a few things in there, but I'm not looking to be Ladrib and or a Captain Vanover. Neither one. I'm just doing my thing, and uh, hopefully I have some people that just like doing their thing too. But this guy is a zipper. So if you race wise, I mean this guy hauls ass. Um, and in my little space that I fly in, it pushes the line on 4S of being too fast for what I'm trying to do. Because you can see me slow down a lot because uh, I have no spotter. So I don't want to go zipping past that tree and fall out into the road and end up having somebody hit me head on. Uh, that would be a bad thing. So, and, and it zips pretty hard. So hitting hard turns is not my bag and a little bit difficult in something like this. So... Very nice, flies great, motors came back ice cold. I got three and a half minutes out of uh, the 4S 450, uh, doing lots of punches as you can see, punching and um, and uh, I think uh, you would get probably up to four and a half depending on your flight style. I can usually run my batteries down to 3.4 and they bounce back to 3.7 per and uh, I only ran this down to about 3.6, so I probably had another good 30 seconds or more that I could have pulled out of it. So you probably should expect flight times around to be conservative, like 4 minutes, 5 seconds, 4 minutes, 15 seconds. The other thing I want to make note to you is these are the stock pids. It does need some adjustment. So really great. Um, the links will be in the description and the first comment. As always, if you're interested at all, don't forget I have a coupon that will make it $81 instead of $89. Uh, and I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have any comments or questions about it or the build, just go ahead and put them in the comments below. I try to answer every question I get. So, as always, guys, thanks a lot and happy flying. Hey, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the Quadcopter Review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV-related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.